Hello folks, welcome to my YouTube channel. What we're gonna do on this video, folks, is I'm gonna fix a DiGiorno pizza. I think DiGiorno pizza is good, folks. It's got, it's a three meat, a four meat. It's got different kinds of meats on it, like ham and sausage and um, bacon or whatever, folks. See, there's what it looks like and pepperoni. But I had to preheat my oven to 400. And what I do, folks, is I'll take this right here, this olive oil, and I will um, put a little bit of that on here because that's a thin crust pizza. And uh, believe it or not, folks, it makes the pizza, um, it keeps it from being so tough that you can't chew the crust. Because if you don't do that, folks, your crust gets real tough. And I don't like tough crust. You don't have to put a whole lot, folks. Just put enough in there to coat your pan like this. But I like the Giorno pizza, folks. It's a good pizza. Especially the four meat. You're getting your four meats on that pizza, folks. And... I'll take and cut this open because the oven's already preheated, folks. And we're going to cook it 18 minutes. I'm just taking it out of the pack, folks. And what I do once I take it out of the pack, you know, they don't put the, the pepperoni on it straight. What I do is I take it and uh, I put the pizza on my pan. And see how the pepperoni's all piled up, folks? Well, what I do to make it a lot better, I think if I can get the pepperoni loose, I try to spread the pepperoni around on the pizza, like this, and for the most part, that's about it, folks. Then you pop it in the oven, put it on the start, uh, set your time, which is 18 minutes. It's done, folks. All we gotta do now is wait for it to bake. That's gonna be my lunch today, folks. And I wanted you to uh, see it because the Giorno pizza is good. And it only takes 18 minutes to bake. I think that's pretty cool, don't you? And there's all the meat that's on top of it, folks. But you know, that pizza is pretty good for you because it's got four meats in it. And uh, it's got the tomato sauce and that's got vitamins in it too. And uh, we're gonna wait 18 minutes for it to get done folks and it's gonna be good. And uh, my pizza cutter is over there in my little holder somewhere, unless it's in the dish drainer. Yeah, it's in the dish drain. You know, uh, folks, I was going to tell you that little vacuum cleaner that I was going to use this morning, when I turn it on, it goes back off, so... I'm thinking that it's probably broke down. 
rinse this off a little bit and wash it off. My hands are clean, folks. I wash them. I would, I got myself in a habit when I handle food, folks. I always wash my hands because I think that's the healthy thing to do. And when it comes out, I'll show you how I cut it. That's if our video doesn't fly, folks. Because it's been flying this morning. I mean, it's absolutely going to town. But I really do like DiGiorno pizza. It reminds me of that one pizza place that I went to up in Louisville. And I'm not, if I'm not mistaken, folks, I could be wrong, but I think the name of that pizza place that used to be up in Louisville, I don't know if it's still there or not, but it's called Palazari's. Folks, the, by the time they put the topping on that pizza, it stands up about that tall. You got to be careful with it because if you go to pick it up with your hand, there's so much topping on that pizza, folks, that uh, it it will fall off in the floor and stuff if you don't watch. But I was going to eat pizza for lunch, and I thought you guys might want to see it. Because I know a lot of people like DiGiorno pizza because they are good pizzas. Me and my husband eats quite a few of them, folks. And you know, uh, the good thing about pizza, too, you can take it and stick it in the refrigerator and uh, keep it for later. And all you got to do is take it and pop it in the microwave and heat it up. And it's quick that way, and you don't have to wait on something to eat. But uh, I thought that'd be a good idea, folks. I was hungry, so I got in here to share it with you all, you know, to let you know the, what I was going to fix for lunch and bringing you all along with me. It might give you all an idea, too, folks, if you're at home, you know, about fix, what you're going to fix for lunch. I'm not much on eating out, folks, because these this day and time, uh, restaurants are so high. Now, my husband eats out a little bit because he goes out and about, and he's a diabetic, and he has to have something to eat and everything. So, yeah, uh, he'll grab him a little bite to eat. He did that yesterday and asked me if I wanted something. I was here at the house. And I said, no, that's all right. I said, I'll, I'll just eat something here. So that's what I did. And I tell you what I had, folks. I had ramen noodles. I like those ramen noodles pretty good too. They got them in different flavors. Uh, but they're good. I got the chicken flavor, folks. And I really enjoyed the chicken flavor on them. But it's got 18 minutes to go, folks, and we're already nine minutes in, folks. I don't think you're going to be here when I get ready to cut it up because the video's flying. But that's okay. I wanted to share it with y'all folks and bring you along with me and show you what I was doing. Uh, I know that uh, pizza makes it kind of handy because you might be in the mood where you don't feel like cooking. So pizza uh, is something that's quick and it's good for you folks. You know, you're still getting your vitamins because they put a lot of topping and stuff on it. And um, 
So anyway, folks, uh, I guess we're going to shut this video down when I'm getting ready to eat lunch. And I'm glad that you guys are in my community, folks. I really uh, enjoy you guys. And thank you for subscribing to my channel. And you guys are awesome. You got this, folks. And you have a good day and a blessed day, too. Bye-bye.